Now we're doing a test and we're running at 6 volts right now DC and our amperage right now is at approximately 8 amps so it's 8 amps DC 6 volts DC on our power supply and we're running that right now to a super gen which I'll back up and you can see it and this is a super gen I don't have the relays or controls on it it's just a naked gen and you see what it looks like and of course there's where our anode hooks up and down below in the bottom down there directly under here is where the cathode is hooked up and we go to the top as usual right here is the water fill solenoid I use that in a closed position to block any escaping gas which may come out from here and then over here is our gas outbound right over here and from our gas outbound we follow it around and we go around and down and all that other good stuff and we come on up and we have ourselves here a Dwyer uh, VFA 24 flow meter let's see if we can zoom in on it a little bit we can try and you can see right now at 6 volts and 8 amps it's pulsating between 0 and oh almost to 8 liters a minute up and down up and down because HHO doesn't stream steadily okay naturally when it comes out of a gen it kinda like uh, burbles and bubbles out in uh, like clusters or pockets and then it drops back and it comes up and it drops back I imagine sometime in the future we'll find a way to regulate it to make a steady stream of course that could probably be done by just uh, closing down the orifice where it comes out through a set of jets and that would hold the pressure at a constant steady value we'll have to try that in a later video in the meantime as we go over here we'll go back to the power supply right here and as you can see we're still running right now at roughly 6 volts and about 8 amps and what we're going to do now is we're going to get our infrared temperature sensor probe the kind that's uh, like the gun you pull the trigger and it gives you temperature and we're going to look at the temperature of the case so if we can get it lined up here all right we'll do a case temperature right now and the case is at 84 to 81 degrees it says max is 84 all right and now we'll go up and we'll look at the outbound gas right here see if we can get a good view of it and we'll hit that and the outbound on our gas right now is roughly gas temperature at the outbound fitting is 106 and it says it gets up as high as 109 now as we go across over to the other unit or the actual gauge itself the airflow gauge let's see if we can find that right now and we'll aim that right here and right now the airflow meter which liters uh, measures liters per minute it's right now at 67 degrees and we'll check the hose going into it and the gas temperature here at the hose is 70 degrees and coming into the unit about 69 so figure 70 degrees play it safe and we'll go on up to the top and we'll get a measurement up there about the same 69 70 degrees now you're watching the ball right now in the airflow meter go from zero all the way up to roughly about oh somewhere from six to eight liters as you can see it's zero and goes up to about eight so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back down here to our power generator or power supply whatever you wish to call it and we're now running at 4 amps 6 volts let's turn it now up from 6 
to 8 volts, to 10 volts, to 12 volts, and a normal charging circuit in the car is roughly about 13 to 13.2, so we'll go to 13 volts. And now we're going to check the amperage, which is going to be high. Oh, I hit the wrong switch. There we go. Still at 13 volts. And you can see we're pushing in the neighborhood of, oh, 28 amps, which is way, way, way too many amps. Way too many amps. So let's go back down to 12 volts. We're still at 25 amps. Let's go down to 10 volts. We're at 20 amps. Let's go down to 8 volts. And we're at about 14 amps. So we're right in the ballpark right there at about 7, 8 volts, 14 amps. And if we go up here, we can see the way the ball works now. Instead of going from 0 to 8 and oscillating, you can see the action of the ball is much, much, much faster. Now, just to try it out, let's turn it all the way up and let's do the 13 volts and see how it reacts there. And that'll be at 13 volts and we know we're going to be up in the 28 amp range, but let's just do it anyway just to see what happens. Let's go up to 13 volts, check the amps. We're at 27, 28 amps. Let's go back here and watch what happens. Nothing. Okay? Too much current? Nothing. All we're doing now is conducting electricity is all we're doing right now through the electrolyte and we're not producing any gas. In other words, there's too much power to the electrolyte. So there is a point with HHO, if you put too much juice to it or power to it, it will definitely, okay, it'll just cancel itself out. But as you can see right now, it's starting to catch up with itself. There was that hesitation and now it's really bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. And I don't like to run like that. That's not good. So let's go back and turn it back down again where we want to keep it. So let's go here and go to our volts. And turn our volts down. Let's go back to 6 volts. And we're roughly about 8 to 10 amps. And this is where I want to keep it, right here. That seems to work the best. Yes, it's pulsating, it's up and down, up and down, but we know we have an outbound that's capable of pushing that airflow meter to 8 liters and then dropping back to zero. So it is pulsing. So if we actually took a stopwatch and we had a counter and we counted it from zero to eight and zero to eight and counted how many pulses there were in a minute and did our arithmetic and our adding and subtracting, we could come out more than likely with a relatively, but not accurate, but a relative average of what it would be putting out between the two. If we just used, you know, the volume from greatest to least, the amount of cycles, okay, and the time that was involved, we'd probably come out with a close approximation of what we would actually be producing on average. But anyway, this is the Supergen. I'll back up here so you can see this a little clearer and I'll zoom out just a little bit and you can see there is the Supergen right there and there's the power supply and of course there's the battery behind it but we're not even hooked to the battery we're right from the power supply to the Supergen but that'll give you some idea of what we got and what's going on and of course you know as usual we're testing and trying to make everything right, make it satisfactory and dependable and so far it looks as though we've been able to accomplish that but of course we're always looking to do better because the better we can do that means the better you can do at the gas pump